Hi, kindergarten. Um, we're going to do a reading lesson real quick. So I have really good news for you guys. You finished the entire Journeys notebook. Are you ready? Look at this guy. You see him? Done. You did it. You are all done. We are not going to use this anymore because you guys finished the whole reading curriculum. So you can take this. Boom. You can get rid of it. You did amazing. Take your hand, pat yourself on the back, say good job because you did it all. So this week, instead of using our journeys curriculum, we're actually gonna take a chance to go back and we're gonna review some of the things that we've been doing um, the entire school year because next week, we're not going to have homework assignments and we're not gonna have um, like writing assignments like you guys normally have every week or splash learn assignments. You guys are just gonna be um, taking a couple, like a computer test and that's all, okay? That's all we're gonna be doing um, next week. So this is kind of like our last week of regular uh, school. And so for that, we're gonna review. We're gonna go back and just review some of the things we've learned. So today, what we're gonna review is something that you guys are really good at, and it's making connections, all right? Making connections. So we are gonna review making connections by um, listening to a story, and hopefully you guys listened to the story already, and if not, you can listen to it right after this. And it's a story about um, the last day of school, right? Because we're coming up on that. And so what you're going to do is you're just going to practice finding something from the story that relates to your real life and putting them together. All right. And so an example of that is when I was listening to the story um, be read to me on YouTube, I remembered um, the page, the part of the story where it talks about how the teacher um, made cupcakes with little flags on them to celebrate the last day of school. That reminded me of our 100th day of school. Do you guys remember that? We had a lot of special treats that day. We brought in cupcakes, and it was a really special day where we celebrated together. And so I'm making a connection between that page in the book, that part of the book, where they celebrated as a class with cupcakes, and a time that our class actually did that, right, together. So that's all a connection is. It's when you take something from the story that you just heard, or it could be a movie or whatever thing you're looking at, when you take something from a story and you connect it to your own life, all right? And then all we're gonna do today is write a quick sentence about that. So I'm gonna move this over here. Um, all righty, so like all good authors do, I'm gonna stop and think first, what do I wanna write? Hmm, I wanna write about those cupcakes. All right, here we go. If you can't think of how to start your sentence, a good way to start the sentence you're going to use today is in the story, comma, I saw, in the story, I saw. You don't have to start your sentence this way, but if you need a start to the sentence, you could even have your parents write this down for you, and then you could just fill in the rest, okay? Just an option. In the story, I saw cupcakes, cupcakes for a special day. In the story, I saw cupcakes for a special day. And my connection is that our class did that too, right? We didn't do it on the last day of school, but we did do it on the 100th day of school. Still a connection. We did that too. And when you write a two that means also, like we did that as well, you wanna put two O's, not just one. So I'm gonna stop and go back and read my whole thing. In the story, I saw cupcakes for a special day. We did that too. Perfect, did I go through and have a capital letter? Yes, I did. Do I have spaces? Yes, I do. Do I have end marks? Yes, I do. I did it, awesome, so I'm all done. Um, I could also draw a picture, but I'm not gonna make you guys watch me draw a picture. Um, cause as you know, art is not my, my greatest gift. Um, but you guys can draw a picture. So I just want you guys to read the story and find a connection you have between, um, the things that that class did and some of the things we've done this year. Okay. I'm really excited to see what you guys write.
Bye.